for, I guess. I, I think there the should be, you know, I don't think it should be like, I think everybody should have access to it, but I think there should be a certain appreciation for the past and where we've come from and a certain like, cause we have a tendency to forget what we had. Once we have something new, we have a tendency to like, for instance, like the re, like how history always repeats itself is because we forget the past and where we've come from because we're so obsessed with being progressive that, you know, progressive is based on where we've come from. But, you know, you can't progress without understanding fully. Otherwise, you're just going to ruin yourself in the end. One, Like, it just um, wouldn't play certain seeds. First, like, technology is so frustrating for you. Do you think that the world would be better without it? Um, I wouldn't say it would be better because, I mean, even if it were to be, that's such a what-if question. Like, how could you even concept, like, conceptualize something like that because you know it's it wouldn't be better because you know look at the uh, middle ages during um the protestant revolution the whole reason that like a uh, reading literacy became such which is such an important thing for us you know like it's a given that people should be able to read and write but back in those times nobody knew how to read and write except for the clergy so you know the biggest thing was that the printing press was invented and then suddenly there were books for everybody, books for cheap, books that people could buy and learn to read from. You know, suddenly it wasn't a, um, it was a right instead of a privilege. You know, and I believe that it should be a right instead of a privilege. I think everyone should be entitled to own a computer because it's such a form of, like, information. Like, the internet is such an incredible invention. But, you know, we also find our, you know, it's such an incredible invention. You can get so much information out of it. You know, and it's such a good tool. But the people who have the access to this tool abuse it like I'm a college student I'm you know I've should be using it for like kind of important things but the most I really use it for is Facebook uh, my mail or uh, just googling stuff when I'm bored I don't really use it to its full potential do you even think that we even have power over it anymore is that, has it become like almost a new beast onto itself that's kind of like pulling us along like it's almost getting out of control that is a really interesting concept it, I mean I suppose I wouldn't say it's getting out of control I think trying to control it is getting out of control you know what I mean because like it's not such a beast because you know it's because so it's actually if you look at the percentage of people who actually have the technology we're talking about like computers and like working cell phones are actually an extremely like limited number. Privatized space, clearly, basically. Because going back to you talked about um, how the lower how like lower class and stuff and not everyone gets access to the same technology. So there's a level of exclusion mm -hmm. in in technology and who has access to the information that's like pretty much the advantage of technology is this new information and this new forum that everyone's True. exactly that everyone like quote you know, unquote yeah, yeah is is allowed to go to but you like everyone's not beauty of technology is not actually present in the way we're using it it's not being carried out in the way it was supposed to be but the internet should be censored oh definitely like... not definitely that's the beautiful thing about it because it's free information it's information for all you know it can be personal information you know you can have a blog about yourself and that's on the internet for everyone to see you know what i mean it's like you know that's beautiful but the fact that we're trying to like reel it back now it's it's interesting because it's that's just kind of like progressive you know what i mean because it's you know progressive for certain people you know if you have like conspiracy sites or like certain like things that are like you know people don't like you if you uh look if you google like anarchy or something you're gonna be black flagged you know the internet like certain people are gonna know what you're everyone knows what you're looking at you know that's the curse about it it's because the way it's being monitored it's not actually free it's not actually a form of liberation it's actually a form of monitoring your every single move. The same way your cell phone is now just a GPS per, like system for every individual. So it's a double edged sword. It can be sword. misused so easily. It's a it's totally a double edged sword. You know, because it's like you know you can compare it if you compare it to like books and stuff. You know, you can have great books. You know, but like books also have created such horrible things. You know, like Hitler had the freedom to write me and Kampf. 
you know? Exactly. Belief versus an idea. You know, like you can put whatever you want on the internet and you can look up whatever you want, but it's still going to be controlled. Same way you can read a piece of literature and you can take it literally, but you know, it's the same concept. Well, it's, it's, still, it's, all, it's all information, you know, yeah. and it's really like it's, you can't read things as facts. You have to read them as arguments. Information but. is a warm fact. 